Good afternoon. Today we are going to look at expressions of time that work with the present perfect. Before we start, let's review the meaning and form of the present perfect. So, the meaning. We use the present perfect for actions that occurred sometime in the unknown past. For example, they have eaten the pie, but we don't know when. The form of the present perfect. We use the auxiliary verb have, that is have, has... And we use the past participle form of a verb, that is, for example, eat, ate, eaten. They have eaten the pie. Please note that the third person singular form of the auxiliary have is has. So for third person singular nouns, such as he, she, it, and singular names, we use has. For example, he has eaten the pie. Next, to make a yes-no question, move the auxiliary have in front of the subject. For example, they have eaten the pie. Have they eaten the pie? To make an information question, add a WH word before the auxiliary have. For example, why have they eaten the pie? To make a negative statement, add not after have has. For example, positive, they have eaten the pie. Negative, they have not eaten the pie. Now let's review the uses of the present perfect. The present perfect is used for actions that began in the past and continue to the present. For example, he has lived in L.A. since 2016. Next, we use the present perfect for actions that affect the present. For example, he has left the mess. That is, he made a mess in the past. The mess is still here in the present. So we say, he has left a mess. Next. We use the present perfect for actions that occurred near to the present. For example, I have just finished my homework. I finished five minutes ago. Lastly, we use the present perfect for experiences that occurred sometime in the past. For example, he has traveled to Paris. Now let's look at since, for, and in. With actions that began in the past and continue to the present, use since to specify the start time. For example, since 3 p.m., he has worked here. It's now 8 p.m. With actions that began in the past and continue to the present, use for to specify the length of time. For example, for five hours, he has worked here. And with actions that began in the past and continue to the present, use in to specify the length of time for negative statements. For example, in 12 years, he has not taken a vacation. Lastly, as a subordinator, since can also introduce a prior past event as the starting point. In this case, since can be in a clause with the simple past or with a gerund. For example, with a gerund, since graduating high school, he has worked here. In a clause with the simple past, since he graduated high school, he has worked here. Now we're going to look at adverbs for actions that occur sometime in the past. With actions that occurred in the unknown past, the present perfect can be used with the adverbs already, still, and yet. Use already to emphasize that something happened in the past. For example, he has already studied. We use still not and not yet for actions that did not occur but will or may occur in the future. For example, he has not written 30 novels yet and he still hasn't written 30 novels. Now we are going to look at adverbs that denote actions that occur in the past but near the present. The adverbs just, lately, and recently are used for actions that occurred sometime in the past but near to the present. For example, he has just gotten a ticket. Okay, please note that just occurs very, very near the present. Lately. For example, he has studied harder lately and recently. 
For example, he has recently quit smoking. Both lately and recently occur sometime near the present, but just occurs very, very near the present. Now we're going to look at adverbs that are used with the present perfect for actions that start in the past. The adverbs to date, in my life, until now, and so far are used for actions that started in the past and continue or stop in the present. For example, until now. Until now he has driven fast. Stops in the present. S so far, for example. So far, he has always smoked. In my life, for example. In my life, I have struggled reading music. Please note that so far and in my life continues in the present, but until now stops in the present. Now we're going to look at adverbs that specify the number of times an action occurred. The present perfect can be used with the adverbs once, twice, and number times. We use once for actions that occurred one time. For example, he has smoked once. We use twice for actions that occurred two times. He has been to France twice. And we use number of times to specify the number of times an action occurred. For example, she has called me five times. Now we're going to look at adverbs of frequency that work with the present perfect. The present perfect can also be used with the adverbs of frequency. We use always for past states that continue or for past actions that routinely continue. For example, he has always wanted a car. That's a past state that continues. He has always called his mom. That's a past action that routinely continues. We use often for past actions that occurred by habit or routine many times. For example, he has often traveled to Mexico, and we use never for past actions that did not occur. For example, he has never smoked. Let's practice. I'm going to give you some 10 second questions. Try to fill in the blank with the correct adverb. So, which adverb fits in the blank? He hasn't learned to drive. He hasn't learned to drive yet. We use yet for actions that did not occur but will occur later. And yet always goes at the end. Next sentence. He has swum in his life. He doesn't know how to swim. He has never swum in his life. He doesn't know how to swim. We use never for actions that did not occur. Next, she has paid her taxes. She paid five minutes ago. She has just paid her taxes. She paid five minutes ago. We use just for actions that occur very near to the present. Next, she hasn't paid her taxes. She still hasn't paid her taxes. We use still for actions that did not occur, but will occur. Next, she has graduated college. She graduated three weeks ago. She has graduated college recently. She graduated three weeks ago. We use recently for actions that occurred near to the present. He has always drunk at night. His wife stopped him yesterday. Until now, he has always drunk at night. His wife stopped him yesterday. We use until now for actions that continued in the past, but stop in the present. He has always swum in the morning. 
he will go tomorrow morning. So far, he has always swum in the morning, he will go tomorrow morning. We use so far for actions to start in the past and continue in the present. He has traveled to France. He traveled in 2001 and 2006. He has traveled to France twice. He traveled in 2001 and 2006. We use this to specify the number of times. Two times, 2001, 2006. We have gone to Italy. We traveled there many times. We have often gone to Italy. We traveled there many times. We use often to emphasize the frequency of past actions. Now let's do a quick review. We use since, for, and in to specify the start time and length of time for past actions that continues to the present. For example, for 12 years he has worked here. We use always, often, never to emphasize the frequency for past actions continuing or stopping in the present. For example, he has never been to France. We use still not and not yet for actions that did not occur but will happen later. For example, he has not written 30 novels yet. We use already to emphasize actions that happened in the past. For example, he has already studied. We use to date, in my life, until now, and so far, for actions to start in the past and continue to the present. For example, until now, he has driven fast. We use once, twice, and a number of times to specify the number of times an action occurred. For example, she has called me five times. Lastly, we use just, lately, and recently to specify past actions that occurred near to the present. For example, she has just called me. Well, that concludes my presentation. If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, please email me. These are my references, and thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in class.